Hi, Hiram here, back again. I've had a bunch of requests to uh, work on that wood gas stove. Not the wood gas with the fan, but back to the old wood gases. I've had people been telling me that I'm making these too complicated. Uh, parts that people can't find around the house and they'd rather go back to the just the wood gas. Now there are several other guys that are making some really cool stoves. I'll give you a link to them here. But I went back uh, to my cans and rummaged through them to see what I could find and I came up with this. Now it looks a little bigger but I like bigger. Right now as this stands here with no fuel in it it weighs 222 grams, yeah, 7.8 ounces, or a little less than half a pound. Uh, open it up. Just take it off like that. There's your guard, the bottom. The guard just goes up into the bottom of the can. Now, right now, because there's so much room on extra on the inside, I have an emergency alcohol stove in here. Two bottles of alcohol, two ounces, and your choice of your favorite alcohol stove. Just for an emergency, you can put up in there. And that's all it is. Can with holes cut in it, paint can. So to make this, all you really need is a quart paint can that you can get from your local hardware store. Now unfortunately most of them have linings on them now. So when you go to use this you're gonna to have to let this burn out. Need a quart paint can and what I used was a Progressive Progresso can. I prefer the uh, chicken corn chowder but you could use any one you wanted. It's just that I happen to like corn chowder. And this can. Now, they come with the pull tops on them. Don't throw these away. These pull tops, if you just take the tab, turn it to the side, just like so, it becomes a snuffer that you might use on other alcohol stoves. So, just hang on to them. So here, this is our pink, or little soup can. All I did was just drill holes in it. I use one of these unibits. I just put a bunch of holes in it, and then I put a grill in the bottom to help keep the ashes and everything from falling through too much. So you holes here, holes here, and a ring of holes on the top. That's all you got to do. With the paint can, now I put holes about on one half of the can. Two layers of them. The reason for that is I can turn this into the wind or I can regulate it any way I want to. If you put holes all the way around, around the bottom <clears throat> you can have some complications there. So I just put them on half the can. The other tool you need is a can cutter. I like to keep the bottom so that I can put it on there to store the equipment inside. So for that I use a side cutter can, I mean side cutter can opener. Just like this one. Now in a can like this it doesn't have to be modified. Just stick it on there. Go around once. If you go around twice, you can mess up the the lid or the can. Just go around once, back it up, and now there you've got a lid or a bottom that goes back on. Now the cool thing I noticed with this is <clears throat> this can fits in here perfectly. You just line it up. 
push it down and there it is it's lined up right inside the lid right inside the lip on this one I just used some JB weld on the lip before I put the can in and then let it set I think that'll hold if it proves not to then all I'd have to do is just come in through here and put two or maybe at the most three bolts going through from the outside to the inside and just bolt it down and that's about all it takes then you need a piece of hardware cloth or in this case I use the gutter guard just make it to fit in this lip here the lip where the lid goes back on and there you go voila you can put your pot on there a small feed hole so I can keep feeding the wood into it and that's about all it takes I think that's about as simple as you can get it I mean you just need a drill you don't have to use a unit bit like this you could just use a drill and drill your holes and with this you can even you know if it gets bad bad weather or something you can take your little alcohol stove and put it on top there whatever so it's raining right now but I'll see if I can go out and do a burn test with this or a boil test and we'll take it from there I hope this is simple enough for people I don't know if I can get it much simpler it's a little big maybe but when you figure you can use the inside of the can to store another stove and fuel, it's not too bad, I think. So I look forward to your input, your questions, opinions, and watch for Max the Dog. Bye now.